So today we're going to check out two pieces of market news. One ICO we're going to go over that's just hit the market and is at a positive, which is actually nice to see. And then an ICO I'm super excited about for the future. There's crowd sales still to be announced, so we'll go over that in a bit. Here we go. Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. First, before we begin, I want to say thanks to everybody. We are getting closer and closer to 9,000 subscribers. I appreciate all of you. Discord still popping. Come to our Twitter. We're still posting every day. And of course, come to our Facebook group where we have many people, not just the four of us, but others that are very good at what they do in terms of crypto, whether it's TA or just informing of small gems, which my Discord is actually really good for that. They're really looking for that small gem coin that could really do that huge multiplier. Anyways, check them out. They're all in the description below. And of course, don't forget to smash that like button and that subscribe button below. And let's get started. So first, we're going to look at our coin score sheet. And I'm zooming in here so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. And the one we've been talking about is Phantasm. So this one we were super excited about, got a really good score of 86%. ICO completed, was super hard to get in, very little amount you could put in. The market is doing awful, but it looks like we are at, and something unique about my ICO score sheet, we're at 208%. So we're at times two right now, which is not bad. Something that I was hoping would be a lot more but it's pretty exciting to see because the market is just doing so awful. So many that are doing so bad. For some reason, launching is not loading. I'll have to check this out. We want that zero X, right? The 25, 26 time ICO. That's the goal. That's what we're looking for. Hopefully we'll be able to find that soon. Let me take you to our next ICO that I think will be really big. And I'll tell you why. Sparkster. So this one, it seems to be following a similar pattern of credits. It has that famous millions of transactions per second that everyone seems to be obsessed with and love. Plus it has that huge YouTube hype with Ian Bellina shilling it to, I think his top coin right now. And then Superman also was super excited about this one. So two huge communities and that seems to be the golden ticket to getting a huge, huge multiplier in this market right now. So the whitelist, I believe, is going on right now. Yeah, so right now the whitelist is going, and it's similar to Phantasm where they're going to have a lottery type of whitelist, which is good and bad. <laughs> it's a negative thing because you might not get in. It's a great thing because you can get in, and if you do get in, you're one of the rare people that got that opportunity to invest in this project. So another negative that I'm not a huge fan of is their hard cap. So their hard cap is a little high for me, but again, I think this one could still make an easy times three or times four just based off of the hype and the two YouTube communities that are behind it. With that being said, they got a 90% right now, which is actually really high. The hype was a little bit lower. I had to adjust it just because of the two YouTube communities. Tell me what you think about this one. Do you think this one is worth jumping into even though it's at 30 million? I am. I, I want your opinions. I value your opinions. And I really, <laughs> I really want to know because the goal for all of us is to make money. Anyways, so if you check out our... ICO list. You can check. These are all in June. I have the other ones blocked. You can see what white lists are still available. And we have Airblock Protocol, which in my opinion is the top scoring ICO that are remaining, that, or at least that you can still join. Then we have Squeezer still going, which that one starts on June 1st. That one's happening very soon. And the rest are either very low hype or they have a low project score. So we have Phantom. This one's not a bad one to jump in. I might do this one. Again, this one has a very high market cap. Loyak, very low hype. Dab Network, this one is something you want to watch. This one could actually have a very low hard cap because they're basing it off of Ethereum's price. And that's how many they're going to get. Not 30 million, that's the hard cap. It's like 15,000 Ethereum. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> and then we got some more. As you can see here, we have DNN, fairly low market cap. Acorn Collective, Moonlight, I believe these are also open. Oh, Moonlight has not started. So the rest of these are open. I'm telling you, there's a lot of ICOs out there. Now, I want to know, are you guys jumping in? What do you think? Let's check out our crypto news. So now I'm going to try to be fairly quick with this so that we can just get through it. 
First, we have no Disney, no PayPal, SEC charges ICO founder over false statements. And they're talking about, of course, Titan Blockchain Infrastructure Services or TBIDs. So they had a huge issue with someone supposedly stealing the funds, a um, huge amount of FUD. Everybody was wanting to get out. Well, supposedly they violated the SEC anti-fraud and regulations provisions. So they're accused of fabricating information and claims that Titanium had relationships with companies like PayPal and Disney. So officials with the U.S. securities regulator obtained an emergency asset freeze. And Robert Cohen, who's the head of the SEC Enforced Division Cyber Unit, said this ICO was based on a social media marketing blitz that allegedly deceived investors with purely fictional claims of business prospects. Having filed multiple cases involving alleged fraudulent ICOs, we again encourage investors to be especially cautious when considering these investments. So I like this because the SEC really needs to hold these ICOs accountable. If not, we're going to have so many fraudulent ICOs. Now, this is why I really like the NEO blockchain because it's very hard to get in the ICO unless you have a huge amount of money already because it costs a great deal of NEO to actually get your your project on the platform unlike ethereum where anybody can just do it anybody can ask for money so they're good and the bad right <laughs> so the complaint against dolaire who's the ceo of titanium was filed on may 22nd and also another company was tied to this stolaire's eth internetwork internet network and systems management inc was also named in the complaint and these are both their his companies so this guy is just on the bad end of things or he's just a fraud. And I'm assuming it's the latter. This is what we need to get rid of. Like I said, I actually love seeing this. Good job, SEC. Fight the scam ICOs and help this space be more legitimate so we can get the new money in. Let's check out our next news. Next, on a much more positive note, Chinese President Xi Jinping, I don't know if I said that right, has acknowledged the potential of blockchain in a speech this coming week, endorsing the technology for the first time in public. So he was speaking in an annual academic conference hosted by the Chinese Ac Academy of Sciences on Monday. So Z, I don't know if I said his name right, I'm sorry if I keep saying this wrong, remarked that blockchain is a critical part of a tech revolution that China should seize to thrive in the global economy. He told the audience, Ever since the start of the 21st century, a new generation of industrial revolution is substantially reshaping the global economic structure with artificial intelligence, internet of things, and blockchain constantly making application breakthroughs. So of course, he did not offer further details on how blockchain should be used, but did note that in order to thrive amid global economic competition, China will launch national laboratories with high standards to research and develop tech infrastructure. So of course, to me, this is exciting news. We had that huge FUD with China at the end of last year or around September where China's just like, we're done. And the market crashed hard. There's a lot of money in China. If China is able to come back around, this could be humongous for the crypto space and maybe be one of the catalysts to one of those ginormous bull runs that everyone is super excited about. Anyways, that's my video, short and sweet. We checked out phantasm sparkster which i really want to get your opinions on those and then two pieces of crypto news let me know what you guys think of this video do you like getting the news update thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that like and of course smash that subscribe button and i'll see you next time